Will, I'm quite interested um, to notice, to read about it actually at the weekend, that the Pritzk Prize had just gone to two French architects. And it was really interesting. They, <clears throat> they somehow went into the philosophy of how the building could become rather than just at the very beginning saying, right, let's get rid of it and do a really nice, be beautiful building. And when you looked at all the previous prize winners, they'd all built a new building. Yeah. Do you think this is going to start to happen more? Absolutely. I mean, it's fantastic, isn't it? I mean, th this is architecture's highest prize being awarded for saving a building that already exists and turning it into something even more beautiful than you had already, which, which is exactly where we're going to be going. So... For those of us who are lucky enough to live in the 20, 30 percent of the world, the sort of the rich part of the world, where we're surrounded by these buildings that you know exist and perform perfectly well, but maybe need you know a new lease of life, maybe they need some recladding, maybe they need new insulation, so on and so forth, to to knock those down and and sort of just start again from scratch. Not only is it you know from a calm point of view, it's absolutely unforgivable, but actually you know the the general consensus of the architecture. Sort of those who work in architecture at the moment is that you, you're destroying quite a lot of character. I mean, we're sat in this amazing building right now where people would pay good money to have an exposed brick wall. But where better to get that from than a building that's already got an exposed brick wall inside it?